is a Gabbard supporter. Go ahead, Clark. How do you justify, how do you justify pushing for more gun control when you have an armed security detail that is likely equipped with the same firearms and magazines that you seek to ban the common citizen from owning? Does your life matter more than mine or my family's or these people's? Uh, all right. Look, I probably get 40 or 50 threats every week, okay? And some of them are real. That just happens when you're the mayor of New York City or you're very wealthy and, you, and if you're campaigning for uh, president of the United States, you get lots of threats. So I, I have a security detail. I pay for it all myself. And, um, you know, they're, they're all retired police officers who are very well trained in firearms. Let me talk about firearms for a second. The Second Amendment gives you the right to bear arms. Nobody suggests that we're going to change the Constitution. Even if you wanted to, I don't think you'd get it done. So nobody's going to take away your right to bear arms. The Supreme Court said you can have reasonable restrictions. And the only restrictions which I'm in favor of is to prevent us from selling guns to people with psychiatric problems, criminals, or people that are minors, okay? And the federal law right now, if you go into a gun store, that law applies to all gun stores across America. You cannot buy a gun in a gun store where they won't do a background check, and all they do is look for those three categories. Minor, uh, if you're a minor, if you uh, have psychiatric problems, or if you have a criminal record. The law does not apply to guns, guns sold over the internet or in gun shows. Why? Because those two things came after the law that applies to gun stores was passed. Okay, and what I've tried to do is to just get every state, because the federal government doesn't seem to want to do it, to just check before they sell anybody a gun to make sure they're not in one of those categories where people really, I think most people would agree, should not have guns. And when you poll NRA members, that 85, 90 percent of them think that background checks, you say no, I'm just telling you that, that we've done the study a number of times, don't. 80% I think you should have those restrictions. And if you think we should sell guns to people that have psychiatric problems or are 12 years old or people who uh, have a criminal record, then I guess we just come at this from very different situations. But that's what I think. All right, let's. All right. We're going to move. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. Okay. We're going to keep this. Are those liberties available? I'm sorry to interrupt you guys. Are those liberties Thank you. No, you guys, we don't protest. We don't do that. Yes, yeah, we do. Oh, sure they do. All right. Hold on. Stop. 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 All right. We're going to get these guys. We're going to take a quick break. Tell you what, we're going to take a quick break.